to Significant TV, Significant Interviews, Significant Entrepreneurs. I'm Fran McNeil, your host, and with me today in the Radnor Studio 21 is Tanya Latney, RN, BSN, and CWP. And Tanya will be talking with, with us today about the Society of Women Business Owners. Tanya, welcome. Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah, it's so exciting to have you here. And after learning before we got started that you're literally flying all over the country, yes. I am really honored to have you with us. Oh, I'm honored to be here. Good, good. So, you know, your title comes with lots of initials. So yes. let's start with the first set, RN. How'd you get that? What does it mean? Um, registered nurse, mm -hmm. bachelor's nurse, bachelor in science. Mm -hmm. um, I decided years ago that I wanted to do some things that had some meaning to it to help people. Mm -hmm. So I decided to go back to nursing school after being a technician for some years and so I can help people. So I've been a nurse for 20 years and still enjoy 20 it. 20 years, yes. wow. It's challenging years some young. days, but I love mm -hmm. it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, right, that truly is a service profession. Yes, it is, yes. yes. And the CWP is Certified Wedding Planner. Certified Wedding Planner. Yes. Um, How did you get into that? Well, you know, it's multiple sides of every person. So mm -hmm. after being a nurse for some years, it was the entrepreneur bug that hit me to say, something else is in me I need to birth out. Mm -hmm. So I started exploring what it was. I always did stuff with proms and partying and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. So I realized I had a passion for doing weddings. Mm -hmm. So I went on and got certified and started doing weddings and I love it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So one of the things I hear about weddings, aside from the bride and then the mother of the bride, we always hear stories about the mother of the bride, is the bridezilla. Um, in your experience as a wedding planner, <laughs> did you ever experience the bridezilla? Actually, I haven't. Okay, I think good, from the good. start, when you work with the bride and mm -hmm. making her feel comfortable, and mm -hmm. that she's in control of her day, okay. that okay. you don't have to get the bridezilla. <laughs> it's when you don't listen to her and things aren't going her way. But okay, some things you start okay. to say no to, but mm -hmm. it's just a way you do it. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't become bridezilla. Okay, okay, good, good. <laughs> yeah. And that's, that's actually a great segue into really what I wanted to explore with you. Yes. Because you are doing some really significant things. And one of the ways that we met was through yet another entrepreneurial activity, the Society of Women Business Owners. Yes. Um, why that organization? Why did you start it? And why is it so meaningful for you? Well, coming from a professional life and mm -hmm. going into an entrepreneur life, I didn't have anyone around me to help me with that shift. Mm -hmm. What it meant to stop working a 40 hour job to try to do your own. Mm -hmm. So I went through a lot of challenges in that okay. transition. And one of the things I wanted was for another woman not to experience that, for her to have a family of women in business around her that she can ask questions. Mm -hmm. So that was really the reason why I started it, so that we can join together in sisterhood and mm -hmm. be able to pick up the telephone and say, listen, I'm trying to decorate my new office. Mm -hmm. How can I do that less expensive? Because right. business takes money. It does take money, <laughs> right, right. So if we can do it in a less expensive way mm -hmm. and some great tips, so mm -hmm. that's what it's really about, connecting women so that you can get to where the next level is for yourself. Okay. When you look at your membership, sort of the society, mm -hmm. who's in the society right now? Well, that's the exciting part about it. Um, I am on the mission to tackle all 50 states. All 50 states. Okay. So I want to have women represent mm -hmm. all 50 states in society. So, you know, because a lot of business now, people want to do international Absolutely. or state Absolutely. to state. Sure. So if you have a woman in Atlanta and you're in Philadelphia and you want to expand, then you can go right to the listing and say, I'm going to call her and see how we can connect and network. Okay. So okay. my first mission actually this week starting is going to be Alabama. Okay. So I'm going out there to meet some business women okay. and start the mission. Right now, I would say I have maybe 10 mm -hmm. um, states represented society oh. on the site. That's impressive. And okay. one international. Okay. From the Bahamas. From the that Bahamas. I work with. Okay. Yes. 
So, um, so I'm loving it. How often, yeah, do you, <laughs> you have to schedule a meeting individually with that person? Well, the thing is, I was doing monthly meetings, but now that I'm flying a little bit, I'm, right. I got to off, off schedule a little bit, but now I'm going to mm -hmm. start back the monthly networking events. And okay. with meeting women in different states, then I can get there and have them host right, right, a networking right, event right. so that we can all connect. Mm. So that's the wow. goal for this so year. So that, that is significant. Yes. So um, you're clearly in Pennsylvania. What are some of the other states aside from to be Alabama? Uh, Las Vegas. So Las I Vegas, do a lot of stuff right. in Las Vegas right mm -hmm. now. So um, Nevada? Yes. Mm -hmm. wow. So that's the two states I've really like have stepped into. But mm -hmm. I'm on a mission this year. <laughs> okay, I love it. I love it. And we're not even in June. No. So you've got, you've got time. Yes. You know, even 20% towards your goal. Yes. It's important to set those goals and then achieve them. That is so right. important. That's so one start. of the business start goals now. is setting yeah. some goals. So mm -hmm. writing it down. Mm -hmm. so writing it down. Writing right. it down. you got to see it. <laughs> right. got to see it. got to see it. The goal it. should be smart, That's right. specific, and visible. measurable. That's right. 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 That's, that good old whiteboard is uh -huh. always your, your starting point. <laughs> so, yes. Wow. So... You have the society, you're in different states, um, you want a place for women to share. Yes. What do you think the society will look like in three to five years? Well, I have an organization that I'm kind of looking at mm -hmm. and I, I want to be like them. Okay. <laughs> ah. So I want so it to aspiration. be I want okay. it to be very large. Uh, okay. you know, uh, I I just want it to be global, large and mm -hmm really impact mm -hmm. impacting women everywhere okay so yeah so uh, big growth okay good mm -hmm. good um now one of the things that i know about you is that the wedding planning skills are transferable yes and i guess it was last year you had an event and you pulled together women of all ages all backgrounds tell us a little bit about that event because I think it is reflective mm -hmm. of the kinds of activities that the society can expect based on the interests of members well one of the things I think with women in business you need to focus on being holistic mm -hmm. so the whole point of that conference was to bring different women as you mm -hmm. was one of my speakers mm -hmm. in different areas meaning your health your finances because if Number one, if you're not healthy, you can't do anything. Absolutely. No matter how many visions and dreams you may have, if you are not healthy, it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. So my whole goal was with that conference was to have a woman to look at her whole self, you know, the spiritual aspect of yourself. Do mm -hmm. you take time to meditate? Right. Do you pray? Do you, do you have time where you just are quiet? Mm -hmm. Because you have to have quiet space to hear what the plan is. Mm -hmm. If you're always moving, always talking, you gotta have time to listen. So the whole point of that was to have a woman look at the holistic part of her being mm -hmm. and say all these, you, you have to have balance. So it's really okay. all about balance. Okay. okay. So do I have balance to be successful in whatever my entrepreneur or my business or my dream is? Mm -hmm. Do I have balance to even achieve it? Mm -hmm. So that's the whole goal, and that's what I like about society is that I'm able to pull different women from different arenas to mm -hmm. help women in business to look at that. You know, mm -hmm. I'm a nurse. I don't really focus <laughs> on that in, in the business arena. I mean, it helps sometimes right, when right. I do weddings yeah, sure, to know sure. that if you're going to pass pay? out as a bride, you know, I, I got you covered. Okay. <laughs> but, okay. Un, un, you know, that's not what my focus is. Right. So I, I had a nurse practitioner that's your who skill. came in. Right. right. That right. address those areas, diabetes, mm -hmm. hypertension, because mm -hmm. those are the factors as we get older in women, as women mm -hmm. that we need to look at. And as busy women, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we need to look at right. a diet. You mm -hmm. know, we're always on the go. Are you mm -hmm. eating right? right? Do you get? Are you getting a proper rest? Mm -hmm. So it's so many factors. So that was the whole focus, and that is my focus with women. Mm -hmm. Are you doing this thing holistically? Right. Mm -hmm. Well, holistically. It is important for women to have the balance. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I often encourage people to do is focus their energy for action. Yes. As you are pursuing your goal of having women members in every state, um, 
what will be the rest of your focus for 2016? Hmm. Let's see. Um, staying healthy. Mm-hmm. And really following my own goals of staying ah, holistic. I wonder. So I actually have been getting in the gym myself. Okay. <laughs> I have a okay. trainer. Because, okay. you know, as age start creeping up, mm-hmm. you have to start looking at some other things, you know. Mm-hmm. So and really taking this quiet time because mm-hmm. I am busy. Mm-hmm. You know, nurse, flight attendant, business owner, you're busy. So making mm-hmm. sure I have that time where I am quiet so that okay. I can hear the plan the next okay. direction, the next step. Mm-hmm. So so that's my, for myself, okay. along with attaining all these beautiful women from mm-hmm. all these states. <laughs> terrific, terrific. Yeah. So we have a few minutes. Okay. Can you give us an example of what being quiet looks like? For, for me? Tanya, yes. When I come home, mm-hmm. no television, mm-hmm. no radio, no phone just a quiet room Mm -hmm. and it's so funny because at my mother's house I did that and she came into my space and she goes why so quiet and I know where your mother (laughs) why so quiet because I need this I you Mm -hmm. need this time Mm -hmm. so everybody don't understand that Mm -hmm. so that's what I do I'm quiet Mm -hmm. I don't talk I'm just totally quiet and ha- for how long? I can imagine people uh, texting me right now. So how long does you she do that for? You know what? Sometimes it's mm-hmm. hours. Oh, wow. It is hours okay. that I am just doing absolutely nothing. Mm. Because when you're busy, you need that. You need to get re-energized. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, because if you're constantly putting out, you have to fill up. Mm-hmm. So you have to do that in your quiet space. Excellent. So if you always Excellent. have the... The, the radio or the television is always stimuli, mm-hmm. stimulus. You need to shut it down. Wow. Shut it off. Shut it down, shut it off. Yes. Okay. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Powerful. Tanya, I'm so glad that you were with us today. Yes, I want to read your website, and I know it's probably appearing on the bottom of everyone's screen, right. but Society of Women Business Owners. If someone wanted to get in touch with you, what should they do? Go on the website, send mm-hmm. me an email, dial a telephone number, I will call you back. Okay, <laughs> okay, terrific. Well, Tanya, it's been a pleasure having you here. Congratulations on achieving agree- degrees, um, RN and B- BSN, and the certification in uh, wedding planning, again, I see is serving you well. Yes. You are <laughs> helping to have people realize their dreams. Yes. And that's powerful. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. And folks, thanks for joining us today. Significant TV, significant stories, significant entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and join us for our next 15-minute interview.